Hi, this is Patak. This is a tutorial for Mercs for the Exchange Race. So, this is a Sega Genesis game that we are going to be playing in arcade mode. First thing you need to do is go into Options, and you'll notice we're going to be playing on Normal. Go down to Control, change your Mega Crash option to either A or C. Keep Rapid Fire off. And what we're going to be doing is using your two face buttons side by side to mash, and then using A or C for your Mega Crash. So go into arcade mode and start the game. You want to start from this screen here. And the first thing you'll notice is that moving vertically is a lot faster than moving diagonally. So wherever you can, you want to move straight up or straight across. You want to break these trees open, get this power icon, avoid hitboxes from the enemies, they're quite large, and just flick into shooting. There is a burger there if you need it, but you won't need anything with that. Just come up here, down to here, to the boss. Make sure you trigger the cutscene music. To use this boss to kill him, all you do is fire your three ends. One, two, three. You don't have to press fire at all. Rifle's going to dance because he's happy. At the end of each level, you will get three ends back and you will get 16 points of health. Currently, that's half your health bar, but you're going to get up gauges through the levels to add 16 points more. Next level, you want to break this crate here to get another power up. And then you want to break this left hand jeep, get into it as soon as you can. Shoot to try and avoid these grunts hurting you. Get the up gauge, get the power, come up here. Make a save state. These tanks that are stationary, and turrets as well, fire every 105 frames in the cardinal directions. If you get caught, you can't just run past them, you have to make a manipa to get past them. And it's quite common for you to get your tank blown up early here and have to move around carefully, so do be careful. If you take continue here, don't worry about it, it's perfectly normal. So you see I got blown up early, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit, I have to make a deviation. And if you touch the tanks, you get a very large amount of damage. You start with four continues, that's not a problem. Come up here. That one you can go straight past. There is a burger there, there's an M if you want it, you don't need it. Various amounts of food. Again, wiggle here to make sure you get the music started. This boss, all you've got to really do is fire at it constantly and just fire some M's. When you fire an M, you'll be invincible for a second, but you won't be able to move. There you go. You can do that with even two M's, it's just a matter of taste. If you want to play the game just firing the wrong one button, you can. It's fine. Next mission is important. We're going to be picking up the grenade launcher. That weapon is the reason we don't use rapid fire, because it doesn't work so well with that. So from here, move into the crook of the crates there. Across, across. And here. These turrets again, every 105 frames. Be careful to shoot straight at them. Don't flick away from shooting at them or you'll get hit. Straight, straight, straight. Don't worry if you get hit there. Here, you want to be moving around on this platform so that the bullets aren't going to hit you because they'll freeze you in place for 20 frames. It costs a lot. Like this. On this guy, you want to fire about seven shots from in front of it, and then start using an M-bomb and move up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven M. Move up. Here you're going to break a turret. There are some goodies on either side if you want them. That M could be useful, for example. That food. That med crate is going to give you 16 health. I would personally recommend not bothering with it. And this here is the wrong weapon. Don't do that. I meant to know this game. What am I doing? So, this lower one here is your grenade launcher. 
This is the most important weapon in the game. You need this to complete it well. Grab this power. Kill this stationary tank. This tank here, be careful. And then you can move left here if you want. Because there are a couple of turrets here that are very nasty. Don't die there if you can avoid it. Because you're going to have to move up left anyways to trigger the next boss. So it makes sense to just do it early if you want to be safe. Flesh wounds. So move into the tank's hitbox. Move away. You can grab that in if you want. If you're going to take a death, if your health is very low, let's just get my health down a bit here. If you've had a bad level, you can use the cutscene time here. Take a free death because it's still going to happen. Just be aware to press start when it comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can work out a timing of some sort for that. Just make sure not to get caught in the crossfire of those bullets. Don't save up any M's either. The only time you want to save M bombs is if you are struggling in mission five. Mission 4 introduces frogmen. They're very, very dangerous. Point of order, you do not need this power up. You're already full. Water is slow. These frogmen come from everywhere. And they are faster than you in every direction. Do not go whittling around trying to get away from them. Do not change direction to get away from them. The only thing you can do is try and fire a few bullets or make a very quick click at the very beginning of where they are to try and confuse them. If you are struggling, you can take a hit from a head from a grunt such as this to make the frogmen fire and get away. But as you can see, they clump very badly. There is an upgauge here. It's virtually useless. Don't worry about it. Come here, move across, move across. There's an emblem and there's a red jeep and there's a green one. You need to break the red one and get in. There's going to be a lot of lag here. Use your judgment when to fire and then move slightly left and start breaking this bridge with two buttons. It's quicker. If you want to come out early here, you've got some weapons you can ignore and there's an emblem. You generally want to get off about here, but if it's lagging badly, then can ignore that. Press on the enter sign with rival's feet, move up. Don't move left or right here. What's happened there, I don't know. For this boss, again, you just want to stand in a safe spot, which is roughly here, and fire your ends. That flame there will sometimes hit you if you are not quite left enough. Don't be afraid to just fire ends abandonedly and just you know play it safe <clears throat> mission five is where it gets difficult you will need to be a bit more careful with your movement and then there's going to be a very hard boss to deal with at the end there's a safe strat and there's a risky strat we'll go through so first things first you can see contours of brickwork here we are going to follow this brickwork to get past a tank like this With the bricks boom. in theory here if you want to go fastest you can go straight up and fire into the stationary tank from the right if you want to be slightly safer you can go from underneath it so the theoretical fastest way is like this but you risk getting hit again fire periodically to make sure you kill the grunts the safer way is to do it like this. When you are in this tank, make sure that the treads always line up with the bricks on the right. Otherwise, you will be too far right to hit these stationary tanks. So don't be out here. You will typically not be destroyed that early. You 
seem to take massive damage there from touching these things. At this point, you need to break that crate to move on, but you do not need to collect the power up, and do not collect that flamethrower. Do not do it. You'll see my number in the top left corner, the red number, is the lag. You can sometimes try and reduce that by firing strategically, but I wouldn't worry about it for this race. Straight up. Kill the pyjama men. For this one, you don't mind taking hits here because the jeep weapon is less powerful. Here you want to line up with the left side of the coming tank and start firing like a madman. And then be aware that when you fire an M-bomb, it affects the square in front of rifle. So when you're firing an M-bomb at this thing, you don't want to be inside its hitbox because it will make it effective. So from down here is okay. From up there is not. Don't come too far up because that guy will get you. Get the M if you want it. And at this point, don't worry about taking damage. Just avoid dying on these things. Be careful of grunts coming from the left here. It is surprisingly easy to get caught by them. Now this is the hard part. The projectiles that come at you here are basically random, so stay in the bottom left corner and move. You probably won't have time to react if one's going to hit you. If you die there, do not worry about it. It's normal. But here, you must keep firing at these giant cannons. Because on normal, one touch from one of these will kill you outright. So keep firing. There's going to be... Oh, apparently it won't. That's okay then. It's just the first one. Didn't know that. There's going to be little bits firing at you as well. You've just got to keep firing for a while. Auto scroller. And then eventually we'll get to the main meat of the tank, where you can use your M-bombs for invincibility, but they don't do much damage. Or you can try the risky one. So if you want to play it nice and safe, just avoid these water jets. Come up to trigger them, come round. Start firing. And just make sure to use M-bombs periodically, not to get hit. But you'll see they're not doing too much damage because they're damaging up here. However, there is another way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve down. The problem with this way is that if you time your firing wrong, you will blow up those missiles and get damaged. And if you've already taken a death on that stage, you lose more time in the next one. Because you want to be at high health for the next stage if you can. Because there's going to be a deliberate death abuse that we can do later on. So the only reason those missiles are blowing up is because you are firing into them. But it's basically impossible to avoid that, it's just RNG. And you should still have two continues at the very least by this point. So in six you'll need to work out a specific pattern for your movement against these tanks because there's no real easy way past. Do a little deviation off and then you can generally get past without too much fuss. Again, if you get hit, don't just go straight diagonally up. There are some goodies, they are generally not worth it because you'll be dying at some point anyways. 281 isn't bad, 283 is normally there, 282. Fire to break these guys off. Same with two, uh, whatever these are things here. And then what I like to do is move around, dance, and try and manipulate the spawn of the grunts coming up ahead.
be careful of this guy here who can often fire exactly like that and you will think you are low enough that it won't affect you but it will come nice and low here start going diagonally get that up gauge because it's four points of help now this point here these electric fences will kill you no matter how much health you have they are extremely sensitive you've never played this game before you're going to probably run into them what you need to do is use one end bomb there and there to get past them use the end bombs don't worry about uh, running out there's some more goodies down there if you want them because then what you can do one right jeep two three you can usually take that jeep there and take a death come up in the center here fire an end bomb pay attention to firing on that one on the right it's easy to move left too early and use the time when they're dying to move left again there's some goodies here if you need them use these grid lines to move be careful there that's a choke point and then we've got a graphical glitch you just ignore that it's just because you've got past the uh tank earlier than i expect you to and then this is almost the final boss so what you need to do here is not hug the front wall here i'll show you don't hug it like that just move left and right don't worry about losing a second for firing use your bombs because again if you move just hug in the top left and top right you will end up not moving as far and you'll get hit you should have plenty of M bombs. If you wanted to start saving M bombs, you could get more than three from mission five, grab a couple in six, and you would have five or six by that point. You don't need too much health for the final boss either, we're almost done. So, for the final boss, you can just mash at it and use your M bombs. You can also, for the very first shot, hold both an M bomb and the fire button and you can do that at the same time on any boss like after you've used an M bomb or whenever you're doing it to get a few extra hit points and then you can try and get into its blind spot like this excuse me it's uh broken my controller awkward try again So there is a little blind spot here that you can get into that makes it very slightly faster and you're not going to get killed that's not quite it but it's close enough when you've got down to one bar you can use your two m's there you go done the main thing is obviously just to avoid dying because you'll lose time you might even game over you don't want that and then time ends when rifle can no longer move 